Using pallet wood in DIY is an ongoing trend that never seems to die. Well, why? Because pallet wood is so versatile, you can make most things out of it. But I'm going to show you how to make a rustic DIY serving tray. And my inspiration for this is this beautiful serving tray that I received as a gift. And what I love about it is that some old cutlery was used as the handles. The tools and materials that you'll need for this project, a hand drill, a sander, some old cutlery, a measuring tape, some wood screws, a drill bit for wood, a pencil, a screwdriver, and your safety gear. So the first step is to put on my gloves. Why? To protect my hands from the splinters, because I am only going to sand this down when it's in its finished state. So while I'm going to assemble it together, my hands are nicely protected. There we go. Next step is to assemble the out frame of your tray. Basically, I have three pieces of pallet wood cut to 700 mil. And then these crossbars are the edges of our tray or 290 mil in length. That's how I want my finished tray to look like. And basically, we're going to put the handles on here later. But first, we have to screw in the pieces of wood together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tape measure and I want to mark where I'm going to drill my pilot holes. Now I want to leave some space for the spoon, so I'm going to go quite high up here. Looks like that's evenly spaced. It's quite rustic, so you don't have to be too precise. But I'm going to drill there, there, and then there, and that should give me enough space to screw in my spoon later. Drilling pilot holes helps to stop the wood from splitting, and it allows the screw to pass through the first piece of wood and bite into the second piece. Add a drop of wood glue before securing the support slats onto the base of the tray. Cool. Now the pallet wood is now looking more like a tray. So, the handles. These are spoons that I'm not using anymore. I'm going to bend them a little and I want to drill a small hole at the top of the spoon and a small hole at the bottom using a drill bit used for metal. When drilling through the spoons, be sure to make use of some scrap wood. You don't want to damage your tray. Cool, so these spoons are relatively inexpensive, so they're easy to bend and easy to drill through. Before we attach the spoons as the handles on our tray over here, it needs a good sanding. So I'm going to go outside for this and I'm going to use a medium grit to give it a good sand. So the sanding is done. I like the rustic look that I've left and it's smooth to the touch which is great. All that's left for me to do is to put a clear coat on it. I want to put a clear coat on it because I really love the stain and the look and feel of this wood naturally. So I'm not going to change that. This is a clear water-based sealant. Absolutely love water-based products. Makes the cleaning of brushes just that much easier. I'm only going to give a light coat and then we can attach the handles. While this clear coat is drying, I have another cool tip for you. Cans, cans, cans make the DIY world go around. These guys are so versatile. Something you would have thrown away that you can reuse and make absolutely beautiful. Like keeping your stationery in, your tools in, or a planter for some succulents, or a vase for some beautiful fresh flowers. So I'm going to spray paint them in this beautiful white chalk spray paint, and it's gonna look like a ceramic finish. It's really gonna polish these guys up. When spray painting, remember to do so in a well-ventilated area or outside. How cute do these look? I'm going to use them later. Let's get back to our tray. So all that's left to do is to secure our spoon handles in place. And I'm not going to use a power drill. I'm just going to use the screwdriver here with these little short wood screws. There you go, guys. How easy is this DIY rustic tray? I just love how we use cutlery for the handles. Such a beautiful DIY project. All that's left for me to do is go and gift it to a friend.